All right, hi everybody, John Meadows here, and I just got my coronavirus vaccine. Got it in a back alley. It was 10 bucks, I'm sure it was, I'm sure it was legit, right? No, actually, I just got out, just got back from getting a cardiac MRI to get my heart checked out. Well, uh, I have very high hopes that it's gonna come out well, we'll see. But anyway, so what are we doing today? We're gonna do my seven favorite bicep exercises, and um, that's it. Seven exercises are at the top of my list, I love them. So let's get to work. Okay, exercise number one for biceps. This became my favorite probably, I don't know, maybe a year and a half ago. I really, really like these. It's not just biceps, it's brachialis and brachioradialis too, but you lean back on a pull down like so, and you just do a hammer curl. That's all, that's all there is to it. Your elbows are stuck in position, so it's very good at isolating, and you're leaning back a little so you get a good stretch at the bottom. But uh, this is my current favorite number one bicep and brachialis and brachioradialis exercise. So if you wanted to make this an entire workout, you would just do the seven exercises. The first you would warm up really good. And then on each one of the exercises, you would do one kind of feeler, feeder set to find the right weight. Then you do a set to failure. So basically you would have seven failure sets and seven kind of feeder sets to figure out the right weight once you've warmed up. But that's essentially how you would make this an awesome, awesome workout in itself. All right, so exercise number two for biceps. I started doing these kind of the same time I started doing exercise number one, probably about a year and a half ago. It's, um, it's a dumbbell preacher curl but I call them dumbbell concentration curls. No, I don't call them that. Dumbbell preacher curls. But you, use, but you use both dumbbells at once. Instead of just one, you're gonna use two, and you're gonna smash your hands together to create a lot of tension in your bicep. And once you do this, you'll absolutely love these. So both dumbbells at once, smash the dumbbells together as you curl, create a lot of tension. Okay, number three for biceps is the easy bar curl. You can do a barbell curl too if your wrists are good. It's just a good basic exercise. You pick the bar up, you curl it. Sometimes I think we make training a little too complicated. So I think you'd be crazy to not include some good old regular easy bar or barbell curls. I keep them in every single bicep workout I do. So easy, easy bar curls. All right, at this point, you should be getting a pretty good pump. Exercise number four for biceps is a spider curl. I started doing these at the John Perlo Performance Center back in the 90s as well. Really, really enjoyed these. An exercise I've continued to do over the decades. Spider curls. My name is Alexander Meadows and today I'm going to be doing boingy boing. It looks way easier than it is. It's one of the first tricks I wanted to learn. It's taken me about nine months to learn. So probably shouldn't be that long though. Just like that. For more tricks, go to my Instagram, at MeadowsGang48. Make sure to go follow me there. Number five for biceps is a reverse curl. Now, yes, it is a lot of form. It's a lot of this brachioradialis muscle, but man, you can't have big arms, upper arms, and no forearm. So you gotta work in some of these reverse curls. I'm a big believer in reverse curls. It also works your lower biceps really well. So next up on the list, another one of my favorites, absolutely reverse curls. Okay, bicep exercise number six. 
I think this was a Veranda invention too, Vince Veranda. It's a drag curl. Get your elbows back, curl the bar right up your body. Drag it right up your body. All right, and number seven for biceps is a, a single arm cable curl. Now, I like to lean forward on these. I really like the angle. As you'll see, you'll get a really nice stretch from these. And you can curl up and even drive your hand toward your forehead. You can even, even get like a little bit of shoulder flexion to get a little bit more of your bicep, actually. So, um, really good tension here. Good stretch, great contraction. Good bicep exercise all the way around. Okay, that's it for buys. Obviously, there's more exercises you can do for buys, but those are my favorite seven. Um, again, if you want to make it a whole workout, you can. Just do one set to complete failure on each one of those exercises. That's seven sets of failure, and you're going to actually enjoy that. So nice and simple. Give those exercises a shot. And if you have one I didn't mention, comment below. Tell us what it is. And as always, we appreciate all your support. Thank you very much.